Welcome to Play by Play Podcast, your passport to untold stories of the beautiful game. My name is Patrick Bergman. And my name is Ahmed Ehrim. This is where we're going to tell you about all the untold stories of the beautiful game inside the football and outside the football plays abroad and within the UK, within the game and outside the game, including business. Go on, what are you saying? Bro, I think I think this is what happened to us today is a good lesson. Don't I give told people, you it's not gonna come. Bro, don't give people another chance. Don't like, give them more than one chance. Yeah. You have one chance in life, you know, one opportunity. That's the deepest story that you haven't told I know before. The deepest story I haven't told anyone before. Bro, I cannot think about one now, but I can just give you give you some funny one that just came up to my mind first yeah. so uh <clears throat> i'm like uh, 11 years old my mother is driving the car and we go to benzene station mm. and uh, she wants to clean the car in the automatic uh, car wash mm. and she told me uh, i will wait in the queue you you go and pay and you know i i take the i took the cash and i'm coming in inside the uh, benzene station and then, uh, then I paid. I'm coming out. I don't look around. I just come out and just open the doors. And bro, I opened the doors to some wrong car and I sat in. And the person there was, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. Bro, to be there. <laughs> bro I, I, I panicked and I just closed the door. And said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I went went into my mother's car and she was laughing her ass off. <laughs> she was like, what yeah, the fuck? Okay. You know, because the queue moved, you know? I don't know before, but I was on my Game Boy when I'd done it. Mm. So I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Hello, guys. Uh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just go. <laughs> like, this is right out. And then I somebody grabs me and goes, oh, come here. It's my dad. Just this way. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and the funny twist, yeah. It's kind of similar. Like, I remember when I was living in Saudi, obviously because I'm Muslim, you know. Um, do you know where um, in Saudi where the women wear the whole thing? <laughs> So my mum went to the shop, she was like, oh yeah, um, it was like a woman's shop, you know? I was only a little kid, so I was like, oh yeah, don't want it to be awkward with a lad being in a woman's shop, blah, blah, blah. Just stand outside, I'll be waiting for you. Like, I seen the ladies had the exact same outfit, like, and then I was like, mm-hmm. that's my game boy. Dad holding the hand. So she was like, get off me, that's my... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what's going on I'm, I'm, and then the next lady grabbed my hand and said like, come here and I was like I don't know if it's you with my mum and I started running and the mum was like that's me it's me and I was like so oh boy that was I was on like what five six mm-hmm. that was crazy bro. I have another re- religious story so like uh, in Christian uh, church you have uh, you have like uh what should I say? You have like this thing and you take the, I don't know how to say it, but basically like the, the priest is preaching mm-hmm. in the church and uh, at the end he's saying, Amen. And mm-hmm. then everything is quiet and everyone is like, mm-hmm. but I was like three years old and when he said, Amen, I said, Amen. And bro, <laughs> Everyone started laughing in the church, <laughs> and the priest started saying to to my mother to to take this kid to to take this weird kid away from the church. That's that's bad. Though. You're on the tree. Yeah. Do you have any stories where you almost died? Yeah, plenty, yeah, plenty. Plenty. plenty, bro. So uh, let me start. So you know, I told on the previous podcast that I have I had this road one kilometer from my house to school. Mm. And I used to juggle the ball from my house to the school, this one kilometer, not mm. losing the ball once. Mm. One time, it was uh, I had to cross the road. 
Mm. So I'm juggling the ball, juggling the ball. And then suddenly I lose the control. Mm. And I don't look around to the left or right if the car is coming. Mm. So I just come in and mm. then uh, just to take the ball. <laughs> and the car just stops just a few centimeters in front of me. So when something similar happened to me. So when I was a kid, this is, what, this is what happens when they become a smart ass. Like, uh, like when I was a kid, I used to cross the road. So I obviously, you know, um, the road goes red for the traffic lights, and then three seconds later, the red man goes to a green man. Right there. Mm-hmm. So I always used to walk when I can see in the corner of a flash of the traffic light going red and I start walking because I'm always the first one to walk thinking I'm the man I can guess yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. reaction yeah. time reaction time yeah 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 <laughs> and then I'm halfway through and then it goes green and goes dee, 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 dee. and I'm like I'm only halfway through <laughs> look at you diplomat <laughs> I'm walking like that yeah I got to a point where my sister's going like how are you guessing it I don't get it or my mom's going like how, how are you guessing it I don't get it this kid's going somewhere, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you dumbass. Looking like that right there. But it's one time, I'm like, looking at the car, I'm thinking, and I see an Audi RS3 sports but <clears throat> I'm thinking, this guy's not slowing down. <laughs> I've already crossed, I've already crossed halfway, bro. And it just turned red. Bro, the guy was going, woof, went past me, bro. Literally, and behind me, but I'm thinking, you know, my back could have went right there. Wait, 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 wait. They're chasing him, bro. I'm thinking, oh, bro, I'm thinking, I would have got wiped and hit by a three car. Jeez. That's one one. Um, another one. I will almost our school is split into two schools. And there's a bridge over it for the road. And there's one time it was icy. Um and basically the bridge steps was like metal. Does that make sense? Mm. So it's dead slippy. And it was mm. icy by the way. There's one time there was one time just a side rail to put your hand. And um me being stupid, right? Um, I decided to kind of put my hand as I was going downstairs and slide my hand through. Like, right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I go, wee! My, my, my hand goes this way. My right foot goes this way. And I almost go over. And mm-hmm. I'm grabbing for dear life. <laughs> I see someone grab my bag go like, don't do that, don't do that ever again. Uh, but, so I almost slipped out of the bridge. That was crazy. Jeez. Um... So that was that one, and obviously the other one is I don't know if I would have, I would have died, but my head would have been decapitated. That's for sure. Do you know them bus mirror, the side mm. mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I was yeah. standing too close. I, was, I hit my ear, bro. Yeah, but that's the so, thing, bro. That's the thing in the UK. Like these mirrors are so low. Like I even got so hit low. almost once, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, bro. Uh, but I'm thinking because the thing is I was looking this way and when it hit me but if I went like that or turn dunk knock out bro mm. I would have got knocked out bro um, <laughs> that was crazy that one that, that happened too many times Um, but yeah that's that really um, that was on my close oh yeah almost there's another one back in Africa yeah um, we had this tour guide. Obviously, I don't even know, but if you go and you go to these poor countries, they take advantage of tourists, right? Mm. So, there's one time my dad was like, um, let's go to the waterfall, see nature and that. Mm. Like, cool. But when we were walking there, the weather was getting bad, it was starting to rain, right? And um, everyone, we were going this way, but we seen hella families going back, turning mm. back. Mm. 
they were looking at us like, are you going up there now? We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, so go come back another day. My dad's like, ah, man, it's just, we drove a long time to get here. Like, that's just, no, like, it's dangerous. And then um, my mum was like, oh, is it dangerous? And then Torres goes, no, 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 no. You can still go. No, 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 no. More, we see more families, more families. The closer we get to it, oh, bro, yeah. When you get to the waterfall, it is going <clears throat> bro, like rain, everything. And so this guy go, my mum goes, Yeah, let's just take pictures and head back. It's soaking wet. So this goes, Do you want to go up? Do you want to have a look? My dad goes, Looks at me. I look at him. He goes, yeah. Yeah, We're going to have a look. My mum goes, There's go up right to the top but obviously the higher you get the more eroded the rocks are so the more slippery the rock is yeah mm. you really know where I'm going right yeah so the water's going obviously that the higher we go the more the more rain the more the current of the water so the the, the valley is going from this big to this wide so we're getting close to it and then my dad is like hey, we'll just be by the lake La la la, and then we'll just take a picture, and then we'll be out of there in no time. My mum was like, This is not a good idea. Take a picture like this. Yeah? Mm. But because of my dad's tall, isn't it? He's like kneeled down. So I've knelt down, isn't it? Like this. That's what happens. <laughs> I go, start slipping. <laughs> Slip it off, start slipping towards the left. Well, I'm screaming for my life, bro. My dad trying to help me. Bro, guess what happens? He slips mm. as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, next minute, we get help. Blah, blah, blah. And then, mom's like, I told you, don't go. I told you, don't go. Bro, guess what? The whole time, the tourist was laughing. Mm. Bro, if it wasn't for that little rock that held my foot, I would have been gone, bro. But it's just like there's so many stories like that and that. And I was only like what seven, seven, eight. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, so I have crazy. one one vacation story. So I'm uh, nineteen years old and uh, me and my father are uh, on vacation in Alanya in uh, Turkey. Mm. And uh don't know if you know, but like these Turkey people are they are trying to make everything as uh, as tourist uh, attraction. Mm. You know, they will even turn a rock into a tourist attraction just to make some money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, there is uh, there is like one boat that's supposed to travel around <laughs> to 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 see the uh, dolphins, to see the dolphins mm. in the in the sea, and. Uh, I'm getting excited because I have never seen dolphins before. And I asked mm-hmm. my dad, please, please, can we go together? And my dad is, oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I cannot afford it for both of us. You can go, mm-hmm. but but uh, I have to stay. So uh, he's buying me the ticket and I'm going there. And it's like three hour trip with a, on a, on a boat. Mm-hmm. And it should be attractions like uh, dolphins, like swimming in the mm-hmm. sea like mm-hmm. uh, some some other stuff and mm-hmm. uh, just before i go out also my dad says to me okay it's no point for me to to take the phone let me just take the camera because i will make many pictures bro mm-hmm. i'm coming there on the boat three hours of sailing i have not seen a single dolphin i have been there surrounded by 80 year olds nobody my age and for three hours <laughs> with the camera in my hand, I was just sitting there and, uh, uh, <laughs> uh. and those staff members, they were feeling sorry for me that they wanted to speak to me, but they did not speak English. <laughs> <laughs> so I just sat there for three hours and I was like, uh, 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 uh. and then I came out after these three hours and my dad was like, yes, how was it? So I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> but, that was funny. Um, I had something similar, <clears throat> but 
it was more. I had so many traumatizing stories. I'm not gonna lie, on vacation. So I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry for breaking the podcast. Just one announcement, okay? Check out our channels on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook. Play by play podcast. This is funny, bro. So my dad took me to Halal Butchers as, at the age of seven, bro. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. That was crazy, bro. I don't know why he did that, but yeah. So I was like, what? I asked him, go, Dad, what's halal? He goes, you're going to learn today, son. Mm-hmm. I was like, nah, it's you. Bro, my guy talking to the butcher, bro. Bro, bro, he goes, this is how you make halal meat. I'm thinking, this is wild. I started to question life, bro. I'm seeing life and death. I'm thinking, what's going on? Bear in mind, I'm only seven. Hey, mm. bro, I didn't, bro, I had nightmares for three weeks straight. I can imagine. Bro. <laughs> what's crazy? I'm like, <laughs> bro, that sound is ringing in my head for three weeks, bro. Bro, have you, seen a chi- have you seen a chicken without a head running? <laughs> No, no, no. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> That's a wild guy. Yeah, That's bro. That's wild. Uh, the worst one when I mean, they've got no head and their legs like this. Yeah. Switching, I'm thinking, yeah, that's crazy. The other one was traumatizing story, right? So when I was living in Saudi, my dad decided to take me on a walk. And. Um, he starts getting philosophical. Oh, man, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. This is when I was like six, seven again. And uh, he was like, um, he, went, he went to the mosque, prayed, and he came out and goes, Do you know the Sharia law? I was like, No, I'm only six. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, let me explain to you. So, you, you get treated by your actions. If you're a good citizen, you get treated fairly. If you're a bad citizen, you only get one chance in this life. Okay. So you're going to be a good boy, am I? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so in the Sharia law, if you kill someone, you get your head chopped off. You see here? See that red, the red line, red blood there? Someone got the head chopped off the other day. Now, guess where the head went? So there's a mosque and there's a big pond lake, yeah? The head is in that pond lake. No one could find it, right? So, probably not the first time. So, yeah, just be a good boy. Yeah, when they go older, have something they can work to work to you. Like that. But my head was gone. Because this one, less blood. This one is for people that steal. When you steal, you get your hands, your hands chopped off. I'm thinking, what's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my dad is wild for that, to be honest. I was only about like six, seven. And when I came back home, um, my mom was like, oh, did you have a good time with dad? I'm like, <laughs> what? I was so traumatized, man. Hmm. Isn't it? Bro, did, did you ever get hustled when you was a kid? What's hustled? Like, try to get hustled. For example, I'll give you a good example. There is this one home. No, I don't say homeless. It is a homeless guy. He was begging for my mom for some money. Like, please give me money, please give me money. Yeah. And my mum had this designer purse, like a handbag, the old gold. So the guy obviously knew my mum had money in it. Mm. And then he's like, no, go, 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 go. God. And then he's like, please, bro, the guy was trying to hustle for like a good 10 minutes, bro. My mum was getting like, my mum was getting like, I like, am worried at this point. My mum was like, listen, <laughs> If I was you and my, and my dad came back and you're still here, I wouldn't want to be here, trust me. The guy goes, okay, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 
the Mamum Graham, Tanza, as on a phone, China call for my dad dinner. Like this. Four years old. The guy goes to me. Pip passes my mum's handbag. Takes 500 billion. Walks away. Bro, I'm shook. I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> my mom goes shopping, right? My mom goes and says, That's my mother. That's my mother. And then she sees my face. I'm still like, <laughs> Did you take it? Did you take it? Bro, <laughs> I'm like, Did you take it? Did you take it? We go home, mom still scream at me. I was like, I started crying and she's like, oh, what is it telling me? Is this the homeless guy? When? I was like, what do you see your phone? <laughs> I needed to say anything. I was like, oh, he told me to shoot. <laughs> he told me to shush. No, I'm like, I'll tell you, I'll make you shush. Come here, boy. Oh. <sighs> Got an ass beating in my life now, bro. Yeah, oh, bro. Days. Bro, so I have uh, not the same story, but similar. So me and my mother are in, uh, in like shopping market, like open space shopping market. Yeah. And uh, I see like 200 zloty bill on the on the floor. So that's mm. like uh, 20 pounds or something. And like, I was like, wow, 200 zloty bill. And bro, one guy zoom <laughs> takes the money. Never seen him before. It was bro, like fuck. <laughs> bro, my I I said the exact same thing happened to my sister right there. And I, I remember my mom was telling me how to kind of differentiate between real money and fake money. You just mm. go like this, and you can see the thing in it. Mm. Yeah. Um. So my mom gave my sister a big responsibility. She's like. I needed to go to the shops and I needed to get this for me. It's only two minute walk. You know? Just go there, come back, don't do anything, right? Get me the chain, don't buy anything, don't do anything. I know you've bought anything for yourself. My sister, right like there. <laughs> so my mom gives you 50. 50 is a lot. When we like kids, 50 is a lot. Yeah. My sister goes, I got 50. Oh, my. I told that, bro. The guy's in a bike. Phew. Oh, my sister. <laughs> my sister, come back home. But nothing. My sister. And then, 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 <laughs> and I was stood there go. Bro, I was like, and it's like, bro, that's why for a good while my mom said, oh yeah, take money to this other. I'm not taking money. If I lose it. That's me finished. So yeah. Bro, I have a good one with money as well. So uh, it was like 10 years ago and uh, I used to have a friend that was uh, this orf in the orphan house, mm. and uh, he, uh, my mother, invited him to our house. And I was happy because he was my friend, so I can have somebody to hang out with. We play uh, PlayStation mm. and play some football outside, and blah blah blah. And uh, my mother, I'm playing PlayStation with him. Then uh, my mother is shouting, "Patrick, dinner!" So I'm going downstairs and then going to, to grab the dinner. But I forgot to, to take something. I don't remember what was that, but I forgot to take something from my mother's uh, my mother's uh, bedroom. No, she said, yeah, she said to me, go and bring my glasses because I forgot from my bedroom. So I'm mm. walking slowly upstairs and I see this guy opening the shelves in my mother's, uh, my mother's uh, bedroom. Where she had like very expensive purses, very expensive rings and uh, gold, uh, things like that. 
and I see this guy putting his hand in, having it here, and trying to put this in the pocket, and accurate in the same time I'm coming in. And he's like, uh, yeah, 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 I, I'm, I was just cleaning here. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And uh, then I just took the glasses, went down, uh, went down to, to, to give it to my mother. And I said, hey, 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 this guy was stealing in our in in your bedroom, and she was like, really? No, I don't believe it. He's such a nice kid. He would never do this. No chance. And uh, basically, then then I come come up with the dinner, and uh, we are playing PlayStation and blah blah blah. The next day, uh, we are driving him to to this orphan's uh, apartments, and uh, my mother is checking her uh, bedroom to see if he stole anything. And bro, he stole some rings, some expensive rings. And you know what my mother did? Mm. She said, uh, if he stole this, it means that he really needed that, but he's gone. He, he will never be invited to our house again. So like she was in one way, she was like saying, okay, he can take it, but uh, he, he lost the trust. Mm. He lost the trust and uh, he will never be invited again. <laughs> To know my mom mm. <laughs> my mom would have joined him to the police station. <laughs> no cat. Mm. She's a even. <clears throat> and he's like, mm. <laughs> the door is locked. And actually, when yeah. it comes to stealing stories, I have another one. Uh, I've got too many. So, uh, I was bad. I yeah, was bro. bad. You were stealing? Oh, uh, bro. Yeah, to be honest, me too. But listen, uh, <laughs> <laughs> listen. In our house, we have uh, like a alarm system, and uh, many times this alarm system was just just uh, starting up when nothing was was outside. So one time, uh, three o'clock in the night, again the alarm thing st starts, and uh, my mother is just just uh, usual just taking a peek outside, and she's like, "Hey, somebody's outside." And bro, somebody I, I came in to, to see in the in the in the window and somebody mm. was with uh, like one uh, what should I say the French uh, this uh, how you call this French uh, French key mm. trying to open the car. Mm. And bro, I have seen this guy and my mother said, No, I will fucking kill this motherfucker. Bro, she's mm. coming out with the with the with the sandal. <laughs> <laughs> she's opening the door and starting to scream, yeah, fuck her, get the fuck out from here. And bro, this guy just climbed the 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 bridge in I don't know, like 0.2 seconds, and he was just mm. gone. So nothing happened, but he tried to steal. Yeah. My mother with the sandal, yeah. I will kill you. Uh, I've got another story. But um, this is when I was really hungry. I was trying to justify it, to be fair. I had my stuff stolen. And I was thinking, this is when I was like 12, 13. I had my, so normally you have a, uh, you have pocket money for the week, you know? But when I, when I had the um, PE, physical education, but, and I come back to the changes, all my money was gone from my pocket. Do you know what I mean? So I was angry, bro. So when I went to the shops, do you know what? <laughs> this is how life works. I'll see if I can get away with it. <laughs> so I, do, I took a few stuff from the shops. As soon as I heard that, I was just gone, bro. My mother in court today. I ran so fast, bro. I said to myself, I'm never going back to that shop ever again. And I never did it again. And that was that. But yeah, so I was walking on edge for a good month. Wow, that was an episode. If you want to see more, check out this one.